What's up guys, my name is Christian LeBlanc and if you're currently doing a bit of research for your upcoming trip to Southeast Asia, then chances are quite good you've come across at least one of my videos. But if this is your first video watching me, welcome to my channel. Over the past three years, I've been predominantly in Southeast Asia. I actually lived and did school in Bangkok. I've traveled throughout Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, the Philippines, and so many more. And I want to put together my top picks in this one video. So let's hop into the video, starting with number 10. If you're looking to experience a quieter destination with incredible beaches, then Komak is for you. A really awesome day trip if you come to Komak is Kokam. It's just a 10 minute motorboat away. It is a private island, but it's one of the most beautiful and well kept that I've ever seen. Definitely worth the visit. And whether you're working with a small or a mid-sized budget, Komak will definitely provide you with some pretty nice accommodations. This is a must if you want to explore the hidden gems of Thailand. Number nine goes to Badian Canyon in the Philippines. Easily one of the most fun day trips you will ever experience in your entire life. This is an adrenaline filled adventure of doing cliff jumping, jumping into beautiful blue waters, slipping down waterfalls that were naturally made by running water, basically something out of a dream. Three. No, no, stop. Three and a half. <laughs> I should be a motivational speaker. I just talked this girl off a ledge. And most of all, you ended off with pretty much what I would consider to be the Gatorade factory. At the very end of the Badian Canyon is Kawasan Falls, which has to be one of the most stunning places. Badian is literally such an incredible day trip that it is worthwhile traveling all the way to the Philippines just to do this. But the amazing thing about the Philippines is there's countless beautiful islands and activities around it. So if you want to find out more about that, I've made an entire travel guide to the Philippines. It's all video format and I even have a free sample to that. It's just linked, so check it out. Now here on the Lost LeBlanc channel, I believe in value. And to be honest, I could not get this down to a top 10, but I wanted a clean title. Number 8.1 goes to one of my first ever destinations, and that was Old Bagan in Myanmar. If you haven't already seen the photos on Instagram of the hot air balloons rising above the temples as the sun sets, well that is Old Bagan. There are countless temples spread throughout this incredible landscape. Every single one of them are open for you to explore. For me, this was one of the most adventurous experiences I've ever had and it was definitely worth every difficult moment to get there. Just a few years ago, they opened their doors to tourism and there's definitely some development in the process. <laughs> Number 8.2 is going to Cambodia with the incredible floating village of Ton Le Sap. I got some of my favorite drone shots here of my entire life. For a very affordable price, I rented out a private boat and I learned about how some of Cambodia's poorest people live their lives. And the really cool thing is most of your admission is basically an investment back into the community. So every penny helps. And number 8.3 is going to Vietnam with the incredibly cute city of Hoi An. I don't normally describe things as cute, but I think that's the best way to put it. It is incredible. There's great backpacker culture and there's tailors everywhere. So if you're looking to get custom made shoes, suits before going home to your job, I got like three custom made suits and that cost me about $120 per suit and there's also a very cool nearby attraction known as Marble Mountain that is a fun day trip in itself What's your bike? 70 70 70 man Full tank <laughs> Full tank My Instagram <laughs> <laughs> He's plugging his Instagram <laughs> Number seven goes to the incredibly astonishing Nusa Penida, one of the most beautiful islands in all of Southeast Asia. And the crazy thing is it's right off the coast of Bali and most people don't even know about it. So if you're currently planning for Southeast Asia, make sure to get there sooner than later because every single day, this is becoming a more busy and mainstream destination. Now, why should you come here? Well, there are two major lookout points. There's this one and there's this one known as Kling King Point and it basically looks like an incredible dinosaur head. And one of the craziest things about it is that if you climb down this mountain, you can actually go to the water and swim with manta rays. They're there almost every day without fail. Because Nusa Penida is a large island, you'll definitely have a feeling of having it to yourself aside from the major lookout points where most people will flock to. But even now, it's still very reasonable. I highly recommend you check it out. And if you're looking to party, if you want to see the more mainstream busy side of Indonesia, you're actually really close to the Gili Islands, which I'm not going to include in this top 10, but definitely a very worthy mention if you're looking to hang out and meet some other backpackers. The Gili Islands are very close by. Now, number six. This is a breakaway from your typical island adventures, your blue waters. Now, we are heading to the developed city of the future. This is Singapore. 
one of the places I just recently visited and I gotta say if you're a city lover this is a city you don't want to miss out on Singapore is incredible it's one of the cleanest cities in the entire world I've never seen such a developed city with so little traffic and the awesome thing is it's an amazing place for foodies it's got Indian culture it's got Chinese culture it's got Singaporean culture everything in a fusion and the food shows it whether you want a steak or a selfie coffee I literally got a selfie coffee here it has everything you're looking for foodies will be delighted with a trip to Singapore and one of my favorite things the Wi-Fi is lightning fast. Number five, we're taking it back to Thailand and we're going to an island by the name of Koh Tao, what I believe to be backpackers paradise. I have probably spent about 15 days, three separate visits to Koh Tao and I'm sure those will not be my last days there because I love it so much. This is one of the best places in the world to get your dive license with extremely affordable rates as like cheap as $350 for your entire patty. That's a very good value. You can also have an incredible night out. They have a very fun Koh Tao club crawl which is four out of the seven nights of the week. So pretty much any night you will have a good night out and there's tons of backpackers and they even have some fun island hopping tours. So pretty much anything you're looking for, you can find it here in Koh Tao. And I even covered Koh Tao and its neighboring sister islands in depth in my full length Thailand travel video guide. I also have a free sample to that linked in this video here. Number four is a place that can only be described as magical. In the heart of Laos is an incredible waterfall by the name of Quang Si Falls. Unlike most waterfalls that only have one accessible point, Quang Si has many. You've got everything from wide waterfalls which have really slow moving water, they're incredible for swimming, and as you get towards the end of the path, you've got this incredible drastic drop off of the main waterfall. Now most people would probably turn back and say, well that was beautiful, but here on Las LeBlanc, I'm all about providing that extra insight. At the main waterfall, if you're looking right at it and you go right a little bit off the path, there's actually a way that you can climb on top to the main waterfall, and what's on top? is incredible. There is actually another almost equally as beautiful waterfall even higher up and the beautiful thing was when I was there last I had it all to myself. Laos for me is definitely one of the most underrated locations in Southeast Asia. Definitely worth checking out. Number three is Koh Run. It's a place that I've now been to twice. I just got back like a month ago and I probably will end up going back there again. Koh Run has to be one of the most beautiful places if not the most beautiful place in the entire world. The best way to describe Koh run is simply to play these drone shots because I'm at a lack of words to describe this place. It is just an insane dream avatar world where limestone mountains surround these beautiful emerald blue waters. You literally have to swim under areas to get into other pools. Only two of the 11 lakes are accessible. The other nine are actually sacred and even the locals are not allowed to swim in there. But the craziest thing of it all is that apparently these lakes are inhabited by a giant octopus. So don't get too comfortable, but definitely go and check out Kurun. It is a must. Number two, we are going back to Thailand for one of my favorite destinations of all time. This right here is Khao Sak National Park. I wasn't expecting to find anything like this. I couldn't understand why nobody was talking about it. It was one of the coolest days of my entire life because I arrived with very level-headed expectations and I ended up having my mind blown by what was ahead of me. Similar to Koh Run, you get these very beautiful limestone mountains but the cool thing is, it's actually not the ocean, this is all a lake. Inside the lake you actually have caves that you can go inside and explore. You've got an incredible place to eat some lunch and do some backflips. And the thing that made Khao Sak so special for me is that that day I probably passed by no more than 30 people. We had our own private boat, it felt like we had the entire lake to ourselves because it's huge. I could not get over this. This was a hidden gem. I felt like Indiana Jones finding the lost Ark. Another one of the beautiful things Thailand has to offer. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for, it is time for number one. The number one destination in all of Southeast Asia based on my three years of travel across the continent. Drum roll please. Du -du 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 the number one is Shargao in the Philippines. I have been to the Philippines on three separate occasions now, and this was one of the islands that have been calling my name. Luckily, my call to Shargao was worth all of the wait. All of the expectations were met and surpassed. This is an incredible island, and I believe this will definitely be one of the next tourist destinations in Southeast Asia. 
For me, this is like Changu in Bali before Changu got popular. It's got an incredible surf culture. It's got some really great restaurants that are being built up. Accommodations are starting to come. So whether you're looking for a budget hostel or you're a luxury traveler wanting to stay somewhere like the Dead On Resort, Shargao has everything for everyone. And one of the incredible things about this island is that the amazing things are not just on the island. Yes, you've got Magapunko, you've got Sugba Lagoon. There's so much on Shargao, but some of its beauty is actually surrounding the island. And it can all be done with a very fun and beautiful island hopping day trip. Just off the coast of Shargao, I got to see Goyam Island, Naked Island, and a couple others, and it was such an incredible time. Some of the most beautiful water you will ever see. And pretty much like all of the places in my top 10, this is definitely a place that is only getting busier from here, so make sure to get there as soon as possible. I have in-depth guides to many of these places, so whether you're going to Thailand or the Philippines, make sure to check out the link because it will give you everything you need to know, from packing your bag, safety abroad, where are the hidden gems, what are the best restaurants it will put your mind at ease and it'll guarantee you that you make the most of your precious time abroad so make sure to check out that link and I'll see you over on my website not to mention I've got some pretty awesome travel t-shirts if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button down there hit the bell button so you're notified when new videos get posted and guys let's get lost again in the next one yeah! <laughs>